Hello everyone. Okay, I'm back with the rest of my impossible meat and I've seasoned it up to make meatballs. And I'm also gonna try cooking the meatballs up in this new cast iron skillet. Uh, if you have a Canadian tire near you and you want a cast iron skillet, this right now is on sale for $19.99. They have a bigger one that's $39.99. But I've always wanted cast iron. It's nice and heavy. It says here it's pre-seasoned cast iron, ready to use cast iron for the experienced cook. It's oven safe and barbecue safe. And it's got some heft to it for sure. So I'm just also gonna, I guess, review this and how this cooks. And maybe I will stick this into the oven with the meatballs just so they, they cook a little longer that way. Uh, or I might put them in the toaster oven. But anyway, I will be back when I'm ready to start cooking them up. Okay, so just to show you more about this pan, it's very heavy, but uh, I don't know if you can see that well. It has a lifetime warranty, and it's pre-seasoned and ready to use, perfect for high heating, searing, browning, braising, and flambéing. It's uh, cast iron, heavy gauge construction, provides even heat distribution, and it is warp resistant, safe for oven or barbecue, and compatible with in induction. Um, convenient side handle facilitates lifting, and it has high sides for, for, for the pouring spouts. Yeah, I do like the pouring spouts on there. That's, that's really convenient. Okay, guys, I'll be back. Okay, so I have the pan slowly heating up, and just so you know, when you take off the cardboard cover that comes with it, there are instructions in here. So it does say, um, you know, how to care for it, but one of the things you should do is put uh, a little bit of oil in here, spread it around, and uh, when you're going to cook something. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be back. I have to say, these, um, these impossible meatballs really smell nice how I've seasoned them. I just like add garlic, breadcrumbs, some, I didn't put salt. Oops, okay, I didn't put salt. I put some pepper and I put, um, did I say garlic powder? Anyway, yeah, and basil, oregano. So they really smell quite good right now. All right guys, this should be sufficiently warm. I have put a little oil. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is so heavy. That's all I can say. This is really heavy. If anyone's attacking you, grab a cast iron pan, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm just going to add my meatballs in here. The good thing about cast iron is you get a little bit of iron from the pan, and I've suffered from, well, I've got this thalassemia trait. I've always had low iron and it's been worse in the recent months. And, you know, it was better. I mean, I stopped taking all my green smoothies. I drinking all that, so I'm back to that as well. But the point is, your pan here will give you a little bit of oil. Sorry, a little bit of iron. Okay, so just cooking up here. I turned it down a little bit because I didn't want it to be too high. I'm just going to make these meatballs. Um, if you watch my other video, if you're interested in the impossible meat, you can see how I have used it and ground this up like ground beef. Okay, so let's see. I don't know if I need more oil. It's kind of sticking a little bit there. Maybe I need more oil for that. I might need more. So, I might add a little bit more oil and then get these going actually. Maybe, like it says thin oil, but maybe you need more oil. I don't know. Anyway guys, testing this out. So that's the whole point here, right? It claimed thin layer of oil, but maybe you need a little, little more oil than just a thin oil. Like maybe kind of like wading pool level of oil. That said, these will have all probably stuck down anyway. So we'll see how they are when I turn them now. Okay, let's get some oil on that side. All right, guys, I'm gonna work on these, and I'll be back. And of course, this is the first use. I mean, I don't know how things, I'm gonna put this down a little bit, how this changes. If you have a cast iron pan and you have any hints, okay, with the oil there, that has, those have turned over more easily, but they're cooking quite quickly. So I'm put the heat down, because I don't wanna like burn them. But yeah, this impossible meat, 
This cooks just like beef. Just like beef. I'm gonna turn that one now. I've lost some of that one because of how I cooked that, but whatever, there we go. Lost a bit of that too. All right guys, I'll be back. Okay, so I've taken out the meatballs and just to save energy, I'm gonna use the oven, sorry, the toaster oven to just kind of cook these for a bit, like 10 minutes. So I've kind of browned them a little bit, somewhat unevenly, like that's not as brown on that side, this is more crispy on this side. And let me just show you the pan. Ooh, now that now the handle's gotten hot. Okay, so, you know, it's got scrapings in here. I'm not saying that's abnormal. It is cast iron. Um, but it's supposed to be easy to clean. You're going to put your water, soap in here, and, like, basically just, you know, rinse it out gently, they say. That's one of the things. So, anyway, if you have any tips for me about cast iron, let me know. But, um, you know, not like a non-stick pan. It did not cook without any debris, <laughs> let's put it that way. But, um, you know, I, I think it's, it's supposed to even get better over time, it sounds like. Okay, so I have my mother here and I've cooked up the impossible meatballs, so you're gonna taste one, Mom, and tell the viewers if it's good, what you think of it. Does it taste like beef? We're gonna hear, well, well she, like. she liked the other one anyway, but I don't, I was just seasoning that up for, for um, tacos. So let's see. <laughs> Oh, it's delicious. Oh she, a, oh, she has a big smile. You ready to show your face and smiling? It's well? delicious, yeah. Oops. It's very nice. Okay, wait. It's delicious? Good. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, so she's happy. This is a happy impossible meat customer here. Right here. Well, I okay. don't remember what beef tastes like, but I know this is very good. Yeah. It's just nice. Yeah. This one's like beef, I guess. Mm. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to taste one of these meatballs. And let's see how. So there we go. I mean, it looks... Just like beef. I mean, this really to me, this yeah reminds me of what beef was. Again, it's been a long time, but if someone were to have served me this meatball and I didn't know what it was, I'd probably be like, "Oh, is this beef?" So, mm-hmm. If you want a beef replica, the Impossible is definitely it. All right, guys, that's all for now. And the cast iron pan, I think, is gonna you know get better over time. Anyway, I have one there, and I'll see you in the next video.